Hello, U.S. History. I know this is kind of weird how to start a video off, but I wanted to show you the view from our balcony. It's kind of pretty. I mean, yes, it's man-made, but I love the fountain. We can come out here and look at it at night, chill butler during the day, look at it during the day. But we've had deer out here, we've had ducks, we've had geese, so it's been kind of cool. Um, let me get through this as quickly as I can. Um, this week has been a really cool week for us here in Williamsburg. Uh, Monday was nuts. We got caught in the deluge of rain. Um, but it's kind of cool because it's homeschool week here at Williamsburg. So everything is discounted for homeschool people. So which is cool for us uh, since we homeschool our son. Um, so it's been a good week. I've learned a lot. I always learn a lot when I come to Williamsburg. Um, I learned about some things that I didn't realize the, uh, that there were free people here in Williamsburg, freemen, uh, I should say, um, which is interesting to me because you don't think about that happening in Williamsburg at that time. And anyway, um, they're excavating the first black church, uh, in Williamsburg that they have found, they found the cemetery. Um, there's a, another place across the street that they're excavating the Custis Square, which is George Washington's wife's first husband's father. I think that's how you would say that. So you may have to go back and listen to that again. But basically, uh, Custis was uh, Mary or uh, Martha Washington's father-in-law. Um, so anyhow, that it's really cool. Um, we got to tour the governor's palace, or we didn't go in the governor's palace, but we toured the gardens, which really, this time of year is kind of not much, obviously. But it's beautiful during the summertime and in the fall. Um, we went also to the courthouse, uh, which is also the House of Burgesses. Um, and it's interesting the things that I've learned there about uh, enslavement of black people. The rights and stuff that they did not have. Um, just very interesting. I, there was a couple questions that I wanted to ask but I didn't think that the person doing the tour would know just because of the things that I've learned. I'm not saying I'm smarter than your average tour guide, which I'm not. Um, but I believe that I know I have a lot more knowledge of some things that they may or may not have knowledge of. But I didn't want to sound like a jerk, so I didn't ask the questions that I had. So I didn't. Um, so anyhow, we went, um, we were in Williamsburg Monday, we were in Williamsburg almost pretty much all day yesterday, um, and then today we got to go to Jamestown, which we didn't go to Jamestown, the plantation, uh, simply because they have it closed down because of COVID. Whatever. I don't know how being outside, it, don't get me started. You all know how I feel about it. Don't get me started. So, um... Then we went to Yorktown, which you all know that Yorktown was the place of the last battle of the Revolution. And being there, I learned some things there as well. Uh, there was a black spy. His name was James Lafayette. He didn't really have a last name, but he took Lafayette as his last name because Marquis de Lafayette was the person that basically trusted him enough to say, hey, I'd like you to spy. Uh, so here's the deal. We could say that the revolution began with the death of a black man with Crispus Attucks. And then we could say that the revolution ended with the intelligence of a black man. James Lafayette was huge in how we won Yorktown. Uh, probably the main reason that we won Yorktown and why that stuff is not in our history books, it's, it's hard to understand and know. I can give you more information about that next week, and I will. But uh, this week, listen, um, I need you to do whatever chapter we are supposed to do next. Um, if we are up, to, and I can't remember, okay, my brain, uh, if we are up to chapter 15 or unit 15, then I don't want you to, do, to go any further yet, okay? I want you to stop which, at whatever chapter is next. I think it's 14, but it might be 15. So I've been away this week, and I have not focused on anything that I'm supposed to be teaching right now. <laughs> to be very honest, but I know we're at 14 or 15. Um, so what I want you to do is get that done. Um, uh, this week also, um, some of the things I really, we're going to fly through the civil war next week after we finish watching the video. 
this month is very important, and I have kind of pulled aside. It's I go usually into a lot more depth of the Civil War, which I intend to at least talk about Gettysburg next week uh, and Antietam. Um, two one of the made two of the most major battles that took place in the Civil War. Uh, but I want you guys to have a great week. Um, I hope this finds you well. Uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to email me. Um, again, I don't remember exactly what chapter, what unit we are on. So uh, I hope that you're not mad at me for that. Um, but I really wish you guys could be here this week. I have learned so much. Um, the American, the victory trying to think of the correct name. It's called a couple of things, but the museum that we went to in Yorktown has only been around for about five or six years. It was somewhere else, but they have enhanced it. There is a theater inside that is like panorama. And you sit in the middle of the room, and everything that happens, they have lights flashing when bombs go off. You heal, you feel the, 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 the vibrations in the seats. They set uh, fog off when there's gunfire. It's crazy. It's really cool. It's like a 3D theater. Um... It's amazing, but I've learned a lot this week, and I hope that I continue to learn. I hope I never stop learning. Um, the mask thing down here in Virginia, the whole COVID thing, it, it's, it's a little bit different than it is even in Pennsylvania right now, uh, but the weather has been beautiful. Uh, I won't tell you that the weather got up to about 69 degrees today here in Virginia, uh, but it was awesome. So listen, I love you guys. I hope that you have a great week. And I will begin to fill you in on everything that you need to know uh, that we need to finish up next Thursday. Looking forward to being together with you guys next week. Again, if you have any questions, email me. Love you guys. Have a great week.